using a trigonometric ratio to find a side length in a right triangle. This is a competitor for the longest title of a lesson in this course. It's also the place where trigonometry really starts to get exciting. So let's say that we have a right triangle. That looks like a very lovely right triangle. And let's say that there is one piece of the triangle that we are interested in figuring out. Let's say this leg over here. If I gave you both of the other side measurements, we'd be able to figure this out pretty quickly using the Pythagorean theorem. If instead of giving you both side measurements, we knew only one of the side measurements, but we also knew an angle. Let's say that this bottom leg of the triangle measures 12.5 and the angle in question is 38 degrees. Using trigonometry, we can set up an equation to find this missing ratio, or this missing side. Uh, we start off with the ratio. Right? Compared to angle 38, the side down here is the adjacent side, and the side over here is the opposite side. And the trigonometric function, which relates the opposite side and the adjacent side, is the tangent. Tangent of theta is opposite over adjacent. Let's fill in. In this particular problem, we care about the angle 38 degrees. The opposite side is our unknown x, and the adjacent side is 12.5. I can get x by itself by multiplying both sides of the equation by 12.5. And then I can solve this by simply plugging it into my calculator. This angle is given to us in degrees, so I need to make sure my calculator is in degree mode. How that works varies from calculator to calculator. Uh, but with my calculator in degree mode, I can literally punch in 12.5 times the tangent of 38, and my calculator is happy to calculate that and spit out a number that rounds to 9.8. It's 9.76607, etc. I'm rounding it to 9.8. Um, pay attention to instructions in problems for how to round, but I'm giving numbers to the nearest tenth, so a result to the nearest tenth makes sense. Let's take a look at one more. Let's take a look at this triangle, which has an angle marked at 42 degrees, a side marked at 17.0, and a side unknown that we've labeled as x. Compared to this 42 degree angle, the side x is the hypotenuse of the triangle, and 17.0 is the opposite leg. The trigonometric function, which relates the hypotenuse and the opposite leg, is the sine. Sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Fill in what we know. The sine 
of 42 degrees is 17.0 divided by x. Multiply both sides of the equation by x to clear out that fraction. And then divide both sides of the equation by sine of 42 to get x by itself. Once again, we have something that we can simply punch into our calculators. The angle here is given in degrees, so make sure your calculator is in degree mode. And I get out a result of x is somewhere in the ballpark of 25.4. Again, my numbers are all rounded to the nearest tenth, so I'll round my result to the nearest tenth as well. Pay attention to instructions with each problem to make sure that you are rounding as appropriate when you need an approximate value and leaving numbers exact when you need an exact value.